Hey guys, what's up? Hey, it's Moz here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys the best render settings for, for Vegas Pro 13. And I just want to clarify that these settings are, in my opinion, the best. So essentially, these are just going to be the best for like YouTube videos and basically online uh, broadcasting and stuff like that, if that makes sense. So basically, essentially, just uploading the videos to YouTube. So um, before I get started, I just want to say be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you all already because I'm on way to 11,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. But other than that, let's get on with the video. So as I did say before, these are just going to be render settings in my opinion, so these aren't going to take up a ton of space on your hard drive, these are just going to be like crispy uh, like quality videos for YouTube and whatnot. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that I want to show you guys is actually going to be the project settings. So all you have to do when you're in Vegas is uh, like, I hope you guys can see my cursor, but there's going to be a little like project video properties button right here so go ahead and click on that and then it's gonna open up something like this now um don't worry if yours doesn't look like mine I'm not expecting it to so I'm just gonna run through the steps all the way from the beginning and then uh, just follow along as I go through with the video so really the first thing that you want to do is click on this like drop down button and look for HDV 720-30p uh, and now don't worry if your video is gonna be in 1080p or whatever I'm actually gonna run through all of that but no matter what you're on right now, let's just click on 720-30p. Alright, so now once you do that, this is when you actually like pick your dimensions for your video. So if you're recording in 720p, you just have to leave the width and height the same, so 1280 by 720 But if you're recording in 1080 like I usually do, change your width to 1920 and then change your height to 1080. So there you go, now you have 1080p. And uh, now the next thing that I want to show you guys is frame rate. So there's basically going to be two main ones that you're either going to pick from, 29.97 or 59.94. And essentially 29.97 is the equivalent to 30 FPS, whereas 59.94 is the equivalent to 60 FPS. Now please just don't go ahead and type in 60 like this and be like, oh, that's 60 FPS. Just don't do that. Go ahead and click 59.94. It rounds up, I guess, is how to put it down. Um, uh, yeah, I guess that's like the most simple way to say it. It's just going to round up. Leave all this stuff the same, so none uh, 1.0000 square, and then output rotation leave it at zero. Uh, make sure this is off. 8 bit is fine. Keep this at best. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Believe that. Uh, keep that none. And then uh, right here, make sure to start all new projects with these settings, so then you won't have to actually go through the hassle of doing it every single time. Don't click apply just yet. I'm gonna go into my audio now and just show you guys what I have over here, so just make this 44,000, uh, yeah, 44, 100 is fine, but sometimes I put one at 48,000, so I'm just going to leave it right there. Uh, keep this at best, and uh, this at 16. I essentially just copy my settings from here, and then the next three tabs, really, I've never used these, I think these are just if you're like doing something with music. But other than that, once you have the main settings the same, go ahead and click apply, and then OK. Now the next thing that I do want you guys to do is actually go up here where it says best full for me. It might say something else for you, but make sure to change yours to best and then make it full. So then the preview is actually going to show like a really nice quality video instead of like a blurred out one. So now the next thing that I want you guys to do is actually go ahead and look for some like video that you want to put into your, uh, uh, how do I say, into your uh, project. So I have like this gameplay that I just recorded. I was just playing uh, Counter-Strike. No, actually I was playing Black Ops 2. But right here you're going to get this message. Now make sure you click no, okay? The only time you would click yes is when you are 100% positive that your settings are going to match your project settings. Whereas I just showed you guys some new project settings so you probably wouldn't want to keep those, um, if that makes sense. But essentially I'm just going to like quickly trim down my video and make it smaller so uh, the video that I'm actually doing for you guys right now won't take as long. So the first thing that you want to actually do once you get your video in your project settings and you've changed this to best and full, is you want to right click on your video, go down to switches and hit disable resample. If you have multiple clips, you want to do it on every single clip. And I think if I hit control Z, um, you might be able to see like the difference, uh, yeah. Yeah, like right here, as you can see it's pretty blurry right now in this area, but if I was to go to switches and disable resample, it becomes like a perfect like still frame so I highly recommend doing this it's gonna save your viewers a headache if they pause the video or but honestly just trust me on it you want to disable resample on every single clip you ever put in Sony Vegas in my opinion so now the next thing that I'm gonna show you guys is like a quick little like uh, color correction tutorial 
So I'm just going to go through my video and find a part that has a lot of color. And uh, this is this seems to be a really nice part because it has green, uh, white, uh, blue, and tan kind of. So what you want to do from here, this is a really quick and simple color correction tutorial. So you want to click on video effects and then you want to look for color curves. Once you actually find color curves, just drag the text that says color curves and just drop it onto your video. And once you do that, this kind of box is going to appear. So I'm going to see if I can make it smaller. And there you go. Perfect. Okay, I did not want to grab that on accident. But okay, so now it's smaller and now you're actually going to be able to see the changes that I'm making while I'm making them. So what I usually do is I, you're going to see two dots right here in the middle kind of closer to the blue dots. So what I usually do with this one is I move it up and then a bit to the right and then I move this one down and then a decent amount to the left. So you could see like the color correction change that's happening. I'm um, pretty sure if you just look at the preview window, you can see everything that's going on. So essentially I just move mine down and a bit to the left. Now don't worry about having exact like specific things. Just do whatever you think looks good. This is honestly like one of the easiest color correction tips I can give you. So once you do that, all you have to do is click on the X and uh, you should notice a really big difference in the color quality, I guess if that's the right thing to say. But essentially, um, let's say this is a whole video and you're ready to render this out. Um, in reality, this wouldn't be a proper video because it's only a minute 45 seconds or something and you have no like actual commentary on or anything. But for the video purposes, I'm just going to say this is a, like a full video. So what you want to do is make sure you drag it all the way to the front of your like video properties instead of having it like right here. Drag it all the way to the front of your video project. So I'm going to show you two ways you can actually do this. So um, the first way is actually going to be just having everything right here. Click File, Render As, and then you pick whatever. And so let's just, I don't know what I'm going to pick, hold on. Uh, Sony AVC is what I want all you guys to pick. Sony AVC and then click on Internet 1280 by 720. And once you click on that, you would be able to just click on Render. Okay? But now, if you were actually to like move this here and you're doing like multiple renders, all you have to do is just select the part of your video, click File, Render As, and then you can actually just click Render Loop Region Only, which means if you have multiple video clips, so, so you have a video clip here, a video clip here, a video clip here, it will only render the one that's selected. So if you were to do file render as and then check this and then render, it would only render the part that's highlighted. But the way that I edit my videos, I actually edit them all like touching each other and whatnot, like every clip is next to each other. So what I do is I just click on file render as when the all like the, uh, I guess like project files are like all the way to the front and there's no like missing uh, video or anything. I just click on render as and then from here I go to Sony um no wait, sorry wrong one Sony AVC slash MVC I click on 1920 by 1080 30p click on customize template and uh, here we're gonna get on with like the actual like settings and stuff so um the first thing you're probably gonna be wondering why do you have to choose this template so the reason is that KBAC is used together with the famous H.264 codec uh, and it's used to create like the best possible compression for our videos. So this is like the main reason why we're using this uh, template. And a fun fact is that YouTube actually recommends this codec when they're compressing your videos. So once you have this selected, go ahead and change your FPS. But uh, actually before you do that, make sure you are selected on your proper video dimension. So you can actually do a custom frame size or you can just pick on 1080p and you'll know if it's 1080p by the last like four, di uh, yeah, four digits or 720p by the last uh, three digits. But make sure it's 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. And uh, if you want to do 4K or something like that, you have to do a custom frame size, I'm pretty sure. But once you do that, go ahead and pick your FPS. So I know for a fact that I recorded in 59.94 FPS. So essentially 60 FPS, so that's what I'm gonna pick. But make sure you do not like pick 60 FPS if your video quality is in 30 FPS. So I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, honestly, just drop a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. From here, leave this at non-progressive scan, leave this at one, and uh, now we're at the bitrate. So there are a lot of different settings for the bitrate. Um, using a higher bitrate doesn't always mean having the best quality. So here are my recomm recommendations for YouTube. They're gonna be in the description along with uh, like kind of on the screen. But um, usually I just pick 16 million and then uh, from there I just go to encode mode and what you want to do is uh, pick on uh, if you can use the render using GPU if available method, 
please do that. It's going to greatly improve your render speeds, and it's not going to you're not going to have to render your videos overnight if your computer is not um, as powerful. Honestly, it's probably just going to take a couple minutes if you use your GPU. But if you do not have the method available, just go ahead and click on your CPU only. Now, the next thing that I want you to do is go ahead and leave your audio the same. Just copy whatever I have for this. For system, you can't really do much. But for project, what I want you to do is go to video rendering quality and change this to best. And then once you do this, all you can really have to do is just, uh, well, I'm going to change mine back to GPU if available. Click OK. Pick where you want to save it and render it. So now I'm rendering it and uh, honestly like that's really it for the video guys I'm going to be playing what's actually being rendered right now while I'm talking on your screen right now so you guys can actually see what actually got rendered from my video. I hope you guys enjoyed please be sure to drop any comments you have down below in the video description or not in the comment section below and I'll be sure to do my best to help you guys out. But other than that I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.